Hello, my name is Carissa, and today I'll be showing you how to do a frequentist linear mixed model using JAS. The data set that I'm using today is from Belize and Halverson 1996. Um, this data is publicly available in R within the multi-level package, um, and it contains data from about 7,000 enlisted personnel from about 99 different U.S. Army companies. And each company has on average about 75 soldiers in the group. I am interested in examining the effect of group work hours and individual work hours on soldier well-being. So since these soldiers are nested within different army companies, it naturally creates a multi-level model because we are able to look at individual level working hours as well as the group level work hours. So to answer this research question, the dependent variable will be well-being and the independent variables will be group hours, which reflects the average daily hours for each group and individual level work hours, which reflects um, how often the soldiers work each day. We'll go ahead and select mixed models and then linear mixed model under classical. And then let's drag and drop well-being to the dependent variables box. And we'll drag and drop w dot hours, which is the group mean centered hours for the fixed effects box and g dot hours, which is the group average level hours to the fixed effect variables box. So reason why we want to use the group mean centers variable is that this allows us to isolate the effects from the individual level and the group level. So when we're interpreting our results, they are independent from one another. So to illustrate what this looks like, here we have our group hours. So this is the average number of hours worked by the soldiers within each army company. So the average in this first army company is about 11 hours. And then this right here, hours is just the number of hours that each individual um, soldier worked. So the average of this gives us our group hours. And to get our group mean centered hours, we are essentially looking at the deviation between the group hours and the individual hours. So you might notice that 11 hours at the group level plus about one hours equals 12. So this group mean centered variable is just telling us how different the individ individual is from the group. So this person worked about one more hours on average from the group. And this person right here looks like they worked about two hours less on average from the group. The last thing we need to do is go ahead and drag and drop our grouping variable to the random effect grouping variables box. Um, and I also, since I'm initially, I'm only interested in looking at random intercepts first. So I'm gonna go ahead and unselect all of these random component boxes until I only have intercept. And I'm also gonna get rid of the interaction term because I'm not interested in that right now. And let's also go ahead under options, select model summary, fixed effect estimates, variance and correlation estimates and random effect estimates. And this just gives us more information about our model. So now we have our fit statistics that we can use, especially if we wanna compare models. Um, and here we have our actual fixed effect estimates. So starting with the group hours, we can see that there is a negative and statistically significant relationship between group hours and well-being, such that for every one additional group hour, well-being is predicted to decrease by about 0.17 points. For every one hour increase at the individual level, there is about a 0.05 decrease in well-being. And that's how we would interpret this. And given since they are statistically significant, we just have some evidence to conclude that they are not equal to zero. Down here, we can see the variance of correlation estimates. So this is for our random intercept. So we can interpret this to mean that the intercepts for the within group work hours have a standard deviation of about 0.12 and a variance of about 0.01. So now if we wanna look at a varying intercept and slopes model, we can go ahead 
and let's do the same thing as before. We'll keep our original model so we're able to compare them. So let's look at linear mixed models. We'll drag and drop the same variables to the boxes as we did before. And then I'm just gonna get rid of the interaction term, but under random components, we want to make sure that we leave everything checked. So we're looking at um, the varying intercept as well as varying slopes at the individual and group levels. As before, let's go ahead and select these additional boxes so we get some more information about our model. We can see that our fixed effect estimates are the same as before. So for every one hour increase at the group level, well-being decreases by 0.17 points. And for every one hour increase in work hours at the individual level, well-being decreases by 0 0.05 points. Now what's different is we have an additional term here. So as before, the intercept has a standard deviation of about 0.12. And the random effect of within-person group hours has a standard deviation of about 0 0.02, which is quite small. So it just means that there's not a lot of variation between groups and the slope for within group hours predicting well-being. We can see our correlation estimates down here as well, um, which just provides us with some additional information about our model. Now, if we wanted to compare this model to the previous model, we can look at our FIT statistics and use our um, criterion of interest. So in this case, I might want to use AIC. Um, and so this model has an AIC of about 19,220. And the previous model had an AIC of about 19,222. So the subsequent model is a little bit lower. So it just indicates that the model with random intercepts and slopes is potentially favored. Um, there is some literature suggesting that changes between two to four points um, are considered to still reflect some support for the model. And the AIC difference in this case was about two points. If you're interested in learning more about the analysis that we just did, check out this paper. We provide step-by-step -step guidance on how to do a linear mixed model. Um, it starts right here how to do it in JASP. There's also um, screenshots and interpretations of our results. Thank you so much for watching.